hello everyone welcome back to the channel Gemini's this is the scene tarot we're gonna get into your 10 minute read really quickly this is going to be a six card poll of the person that you're thinking about the person that's thinking about you this is going to be a no contact read straight to the point you guys so if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here comment down below support each other in the comment section just know that these are all generals not personal reads all my videos are timeless no matter when you get them and if you guys want to donate to the channel go ahead and hit the super like or you can send the donation to me directly um with all the information in the description box okay oh yesterday video you guys um yes yeah, someone did comment down below in the comment section um that it was someone's bl someone was blinded to the truth and it is exactly what was that remember i talked about the two cards the eight of swords and the two of swords energy and what was a similar situation that they had going on and it's like yes you see what's happening every day but you are wearing this blindfold and you're refusing to believe that this is the case you're blind you're you're just not accepting the truth you are you know really just moving on knowing the facts okay and this is a mental thing this is not you know a physical thing i don't i don't feel like it's a physical like it's like you can't like you're really trapped i just feel like it's a mental thing like you're you felt you're telling yourself this you know you're telling yourself it's too late you it's just you know so many things that you have to unravel and you know the angels are saying no but you're free it's just a it's just a mental thing you're programming yourself to feel that way um, so that's what I wanted to say. And the whistle, you guys, I, I kept thinking about that. I'm like, the whistle was so loud, like it was right next to my window. And I live on a hill and the road is so far. You can see the cars pass by, but it's not near. It's very far. It's not far, but it's like for you to hear that whistle and my windows are closed and stuff. It just felt like somebody was next to the window. So shout out to whoever that belongs to because it seems like that was an energy to for someone that passed away or someone that used to whistle a lot. Um, so if it resonates with you, take it, all right? Because I'm like, that was really creepy. I heard that whistle like it was in the house or something. It was just creepy. Um, but, you know, this is what happens when you are awake when you are spiritually awake. So this is going to be the no contact read for you. I'm looking for my cats, you guys, because they're acting crazy since I came home. They miss me. The person that's thinking about Gemini, the person that Gemini is thinking about, what's going on, the person that's coming back up in Gemini's energy. Six card pull for gems. Thank you, sir, guides, ancestors. All right, let's see what we have. Why are you having the four of cups too? Scorpio have the four of cups. For those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio, look, you have the well energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Wow, we are back to the two of swords again, I see. <laughs> back to the two of swords. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, now, let's see. All right, the Queen of Cups, the Sun, and you have the Temperance. All right, oh, the Temperance is Sag Energy, Major Arcana. Then you have Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer within the Well. You have Leo within the Sun, um, which is Major Arcana. So take that as it resonates. It could be their Sun sign, their Moon they're rising their venus placement so please take that if it resonates with you or it could be something to do with your energy i'm seeing that you're still caught up with this person like your heart is still there um i am also feeling like you're about to find out the truth about everything from all the past situations that happened all their past trauma they're about to let you in they're about to let you in you're going to have to, to make a decision gemini's this is what i'm seeing here you're going to have to make a decision here so this is going to be very difficult a lot of you grew up with this person or you have some kind of past relationship because the well is about the past or being able to go into the past or it's some it's similar to the six of cups you know is very deep energy and i'm also seeing cancer here within the queen of cups so there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of happiness with this love and this person 
but you just don't know if they choose you or they see you right now you're confused within the temperance within the timing of everything i feel like this person is just not on the same page the way you are and i feel like you are wondering if you should go or you should stay and the angels are saying right now Raphael and gabrielle are saying right now you need to check yourself you need to heal you need to choose yourself your happiness is within you have the sun okay um and the sun is also about self reflection as well and also the temperance so those two cards just the fact that they are out here it's all about you gems so let's just see what we have here all right tell me more tell me about the four of cups for gemini's the four of cups for gemini's holy spirit what's happening the three of pentacles so you have a <laughs> you have a lesson with this person this could also be a contract um i don't feel like you and this person is over yet because the well is here the three of pentacles tell me more yep incompletion look at that you see i called it and that's what i got the world's in reverse so there is unfinished business between you and this person i'm seeing gemini aquarius taurus leo scorpio all right tell me more holy spirit this person wants to resolve the five of swords but you know how i feel about the five of swords this was devastation embarrassment this was deep this was like stabbing you in the back over and over you had no idea this person was like this you had no idea this person was capable of all of this tell me more and then you have the five of pentacles and you're by yourself you feel like you're by yourself you feel like this is a constant vibration. You feel like this person left you and abandoned you. A lot of you could have kids together with the five of pentacles. Everything is on you. You're taking care of the children. Oh my God, my cat is eating that thing on fake plant. Why? Baby, you're going to go to the... Okay. I try to grab her, but I probably grabbed her in the wrong section. <laughs> but it's okay. She's okay. All right, so let's see. Five of Pentacles, you guys. You guys are going to be um, doing things on your own for a while. I, I just feel like this right here is like they're trying to resolve something that was said. You know, something that stabbed you. Their words that stabbed you, okay? And it came out of nowhere. But this stability situation, you're going to be handling that by yourself for a, for a while tell me how long tell me how long this five of pentacles is going to be tell me how long um this could be a year for those of you to get back to this situation i'm gonna give it a year okay i'm not gonna give it eight ten ten weeks that's crazy i'm gonna give it a year okay so 10 months if you guys work hard enough you can get back to where you need to be because this person is going to tell you everything share their blood and sweat with you i feel like you're going to look at them a whole in a whole different level tell me about this um wells energy holy spirit i feel like this is a good thing they're saying this is happening very quickly this is the only thing that this person is doing very quickly right now is rushing in to tell you and another thing that I see is the Eight of Wands. You know, the Eight of Wands here, they're rushing in with that speed of energy because they loved you and they still do. And it's crazy because there's a lot of love here. From the well, there's a lot of love. They feel like they're losing you. They feel like they're messing up. They feel like, you know, they're just causing just a lot of ripple effects and they're trying to save this relationship. Even though this relationship is already seem like it's over, but there is just one more thing to do. I'm hearing like there's some kind of paperwork need to be filed or paperwork or sign the paperwork to the divorce paperwork if you guys are married or you know just one more thing it's like one more thing to make this finalized okay all right so we have the judgment in reverse so we have Aries and we have Libra energy and the angels are revealing that this needs balance between you there's not a lot of balance here and I'm also seeing again within this card in reverse this is about a decision that needs to be made here something that you're putting off okay a final decision that needs to be made that has not been made I'm also seeing the angels are watching oh my god the angels are watching they're saying they're not going to do it for you you're going to need to do it 
You felt like you have invested and lost everything within this relationship. Tell me about the two of swords for gems. You have the Wheel of Fortune. I wanted to see this card. All the archangels are with you. Michael, Gabrielle, Raphael, Ariel within this card right here. This is also the Destiny card as well. And I'm seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. That is also a factor here. This is in reverse. So you have been experiencing a lot of bad elements with this person. You feel like this might be some kind of you know karmic vibration but it's this i feel like this soul just took up a lot of adversities i feel like they're on their path they took it up so they're on their path and it kind of tangles with you and this is why you're going through it okay um but the scales are also in reverse here <sighs> scales are in reverse you guys so tell me is this a, a good thing hmm they're telling me that they're going to have to make a decision soon. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. Tell me more. But you you fear this embarrassment. Like this person embarrassed you before. And I feel like it brought a lot of shame to your life. A lot of crying to your life. A lot of depression to your life. And a lot of you are still working on the depression, the anxiety, the stress. I feel like... You just can't look people in the eyes anymore because this is someone that you have stood up for. This is someone that you have sacrificed a lot of the things in your life for. Um, and they they shamed you, you know? They forgot. They forgot how far that you have came. And now you're dealing with everything on your back. Plus, you're dealing with the shame and the depression and the anxiety. Tell me about this love the queen of uh, cups this was a marriage for some of you that is ended or a relationship that is ended on co in the codependency meaning that i just feel like this person because you know the emperor that the emperor the high front is what the high front is a wow what a priest a priest or someone that could be a pope for goodness sake i mean someone that has a lot of traditional beliefs a lot of old-fashioned ways and I feel like in and of course, the high front has advisors. It's like, you know, the emperor, for goodness sakes, where the emperor has advisors as well. The king has advisors as well. They don't really make decisions in, unless they are kind of like pushed in the wall to do this. Right. So I feel like when they're in the upright, they're strong. When they're in reverse, they're kind of like weak and they're very codependent on other people's um uh op what is it opinions and you know that's how they live their lives and within this high front when it comes to your relationship when it comes to the root of the relationship there is a lot of codependency there there was a decision that was based um about this relationship from someone else it wasn't this person who made this up woke up one day and say i'm going to do it um this is what i want this was pressure this was built in their heads people were talking you know and they just felt like you know what you're right i'm just going to do what you're saying and now they they kind of mess things up so this could be a taurus because this is a bull energy this is someone that just never stops talking okay never stops talking and this could be an older person that did this as well this could be their mom their dad um this could be a feminine or a masculine depends on the day okay um i'm also seeing the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles is ruled by capricorn which is another stubborn energy but i'm also seeing like this is someone with money or this was someone that rules with money and stability so this could be their parents you know or someone that raised them that gave them this advice and it was the wrong advice and this is what they're telling me okay tell me about the lovers not the lovers oh my god the lovers on my mind gemini's what's going on you and this person is very passionate you want to be with this person Raphael is coming through <laughs> Raphael is already here but that lovers is ruled by Raphael too so it's crazy that i'm getting lovers and lovers is not even here and that's your energy so tell me about the sun in leo holy spirit what's going on we have the seven, which in Scorpio, seven of cups, energy in reverse. So a decision has been made. Why? Oh, this person wants another chance with you. Not surprised. Not surprised, baby. 
So because you have the incompletion, you have the well energy. I mean, you're still waiting under a tree for this person. And this is for Gemini's who is waiting, not Gemini's who wants to move on. Gemini's who are still hoping that their baby come back. OK, um, and they will, unfortunately. So get ready. All right. There's going to be a second chance here and it's coming up a lot It's very strong. And there's going to be a starting over point with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is not always a bad card, but it's like this person wants to be in control of the, you know, the buildup. They want to be in control. And when they give me that energy, it's like they have other things still going on within their past that they're still not done with. OK, so that's the only thing I can say about that. And, you know, I feel like that Four of Pentacles is going to come out of nowhere um, because this person is also going to be spending money or acting like everything is okay, acting like they're stable in life and they're not because the four pentacles is like, Hey, you need to save that money. Okay. Tell me about the temperance. Three of cups energy and the queen of swords. So this person cheated on you, this person cheated on you and you block them. You just, you don't think you can get over that. This was with a friend or a family member. Or, for goodness sakes, their friend. But it seems like someone that, look at that. So there's no balance, right? But there is going to be a forceful, say, it's like I'm seeing like both of you is coming through here. One is going to be ready to talk and to work things out and put this stuff behind them. But the other one is like, uh, don't want to compromise here. Don't want to speak. Don't want to hear whatever this masculine have to say. But this masculine wants to work things out. And it's like they're really pushy or bossy or telling you like, this is how it's going to go. This is what's going to happen. And it's like you have no choice. They're making you feel like you have no choice. Okay, um, look at that. I'm seeing the Knight of Wands and also the Page of Wands. So it's like no new perspective coming back in the same form of situation. All right, Holy Spirit, what's the advice here for gems? What's the advice for gems? All right, you have the Four of Pentacles on the back. Not the Four of Pentacles. Is this the Four of Pentacles? Hold on a second now. I'm reading it wrong, baby. Okay, let's go back. So you have the four of pentacles of the page of pentacles. I'm going to stick by what I want. I wanted to say because here you have the four of pentacles, but the page of pentacles, I'm seeing like this person wants to help you or this person is about to give you something, some kind of message or stability of stability. It's not much. I feel like this person do have money issues here. There are, but what I'm seeing on the back of the deck with the four of pentacles even if they come in and they're trying to work something out because of their control, it's you're going to be you're going to let this person go. You're, you know, you're, they're going to force you to let them go because you know that there is something here. You're going to have to move on, but it's going to take time because you still have the four of cups. This is the future. The four of cups is in the present and the four of pentacles is in the future. But anyways, the advice here, you have the, the King of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles, and you have the High Priestess. All right, the High Priestess is ruled by Cancer, okay? And then you have a Sag energy within the King of a pen, the King of Wands, excuse me. So what I'm hearing here is that the angels are saying you don't have to work so hard to make this work. I don't know. Because you have the King of Wands. Like, you... Listen, you're giving me a, like a, a force of energy of success, no matter what, taking the leadership role to work something out that has just fell apart. Everything that you have built, this could be your last name, your children, your home, your businesses together. You have lost everything and watched everything fall. That explains the seven of pentacles where you were talking about the seven of pentacles and you were saying that you invest in so much and you watch that fall. 
and I'm seeing that because of that energy you felt like you couldn't trust yourself like you are here watching this video because you feel like you don't know what to do you cannot trust your intuition like you feel like you can't trust your intuition yet you can't trust yourself and the angels are saying you need to trust yourself you need to make sure you're trusting your intuition we are speaking through you within your intuition there is a team on your side depends on if you are a soul that is new okay and if you're an older soul that is not much people but your higher self and angel michael or gabrielle whoever is assigned to you but in this read i'm seeing gabrielle Raphael. um is it anybody else that's coming through i'm seeing wait a minute hmm what did you have the wheel of fortune in this one hold on now because i'm trying to say yeah you do so you have all the archangels behind you you have all the archangel michael gabriel Raphael, ariel even more you have the whole wheel of fortune here you feel like you have been forgotten but you have not it is your time this is what i'm hearing but this is what i have go ahead thumbs up the video you guys um if it resonates you know what support 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 either way um support all you youtubers on here you know we work so hard every day for you guys and we just want to see that back you know but um everybody has a time and i guess on the yt and we're just going to continue to be of service for you and i hope that you appreciate that and comment down below your story what resonated help someone to heal if they're going through something in the comment section and yeah share like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys love you